Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be going over my skincare routine. My skin literally feels the best that it's ever felt and I'm really, really excited to share it in case it helps anybody else. About two months ago, my skin looked like this. As you can see, my skin is absolutely covered in eczema patches around my eyes and on my cheeks. I also get patches around my mouth and on my forehead. And this was actually on a good day too. My skin can get a lot worse than this. And since doing my skincare routine, my skin now looks like this. My eczema has almost completely disappeared from my face and my skin is absolutely glowing. It feels so much softer and hydrated and I'm really happy with how my skin is at the moment. I have literally tried hundreds and hundreds of different skincare products to try and get rid of my horrible eczema, my uneven skin tone, the bags around my eyes, all of that kind of stuff and I feel like I've finally found some products and a routine that works for my skin. So if you want to see the products that I use in my skin then please keep watching. So my skincare routine is actually 10 steps long and it's based off of the 10 step Korean skincare routine. I've actually been filming me trying out this routine for about a month now so if you want to see that video please subscribe because that will be coming out in the next few weeks. With all of that being said let's get into my nighttime skincare routine. So the very first thing that I do in my skincare routine is a double cleanse. So what double cleanse is is essentially washing your face twice thoroughly with two different cleansers both different types so the first one being an oil cleanser and the second one being either a water-based or a a foam based cleanser. So doing a double cleanse helps to get rid of all of the makeup, the SPF, the oil and the dirt that sort of builds up on your skin during the day. This isn't something everyone necessarily needs to do every single day but I like to do it every day because I wear makeup and SPF on most days and it just helps to give my skin a bit of a fresher feel and make sure all of that is off of my face before I do my skincare routine. So the first cleanser that I use is my oil based cleanser and I use this one which is the Rice Water Bright by the face shop. This is actually usually used to remove makeup but I usually remove my makeup before I start my skincare routine and then this oil cleanser just helps to remove any remaining makeup that's still on my skin. This cleanser actually does have a little bit of fragrance in it but it's not really an overwhelming sort of scent and I haven't really had any irritation or anything from it so far and I've been using it for about a month now. This oil cleanser is so good it makes my face feel incredibly soft and it feels really hydrating when you use it. I didn't actually used to wash my face when when I did my skincare routine because every time I tried to it made my eczema really like angry and red but since doing the skincare routine and using this oil cleanser I'm finding that washing my face I don't really get any of that tightness or irritation and my face feels nice and soft after I wash it so to use this oil cleanser I usually use about one pump of this and then I gently rub it into dry skin and then I rinse it off with some warm water. So the second cleanser that I use for my double cleanse is my water-based cleanser, and I use this one by CeraVe, which is their hydrating cleanser. I love this cleanser by CeraVe in particular because it hydrates and cleanses your skin without damaging the protective barrier on your face. And it also includes ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which are amazing if you have dry and sensitive skin. So I usually apply about one pump of this to damp skin and gently massage it into my face for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I gently rinse it off with some warm water. So the next step in my skincare routine is to use my toner. So for my toner, I use the Pyokyang Yule Toner, and I'm really sorry if I've pronounced that incorrectly. And this is my all-time favorite toner. It only has seven ingredients, and it contains over 91% of milk vetch root extract. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Which re-energizes and replenishes the skin with nutrients. This toner in particular makes my skin feel so hydrated and healthy. I have tried so many different types of toners and every single time that I've used them they make my skin feel really itchy and tight and really dry and they make my eczema flare up but this one actually hydrates my skin so much and it makes my skin feel really soft I really recommend this one if you have really dry skin or you struggle with eczema so to apply this toner to my face I use a small cotton pad and I add a generous amount of the toner and then I gently wipe it over my face and my neck so the very next product that I apply is a serum and I use the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. So Hyaluronic Acid improves the stretch and the flexibility in your skin to reduce wrinkles and fine lines, as well as moisturising the skin, treating redness and eczema. I apply this straight after using my toner whilst my skin is still slightly damp 
This is because hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the environment into the skin, so it's best to apply it into slightly damp skin. I apply a few drops to my face and neck and gently rub it into my skin. I then wait five minutes before applying my next product to give the hyaluronic acid time to sink into my skin. So the very next product I use in my routine is an essence. And I use the Snail Power Mucin Essence by Corsterix. I really do not know how to say this brand's name. So this essence in particular is made from 96% snail mucin, which helps to calm acne and also even out stubborn pigmentation. And it also has anti-aging benefits as well. This does sound kind of gross, but it's honestly one of my favorite parts of my skincare routine. It feels really luxury when you use it and it makes my skin feel really hydrated and loved. So I usually use about three pumps of this, two on my face and then one for my neck and I gently rub it into my skin. I then wait another five minutes to let it sink in properly. So next up in my skincare routine, I use a sheet mask. I usually use a sheet mask about three times a week because I don't feel like I need to use one every single day. So I have been using sheet masks by the brand Enyul. I think that's how you say this brand's name, but I have loads of different ones. I have used quite a lot of them already, but I have four different ones left, like this rice one, this shea butter one, this green tea one and then an apple one which I'm really excited to try. So I apply one of these sheet masks to my face three times a week and I leave it on for about 20 minutes to absorb as much of the essence as possible. So after I remove the sheet mask from my face I like to do a bit of a face massage using the rest of the essence that's still on my skin and to massage my skin I use this rose quartz gua sha piece and this white jade face roller. And giving your face a bit of a face massage has a lot of benefits, like improving lymphatic flow and drainage, improving blood flow in the skin and reducing inflammation and puffiness. I use the Rose Quartz Gua Sha to massage along my jaw, on my neck and my cheekbones. And then I use my Jade Face Roller to massage my eye area, as well as my forehead and my nose. And I will usually massage my face for about 10 minutes altogether, just a quick 10 minutes. Sometimes I do this in the morning as well, but usually this is part of my nighttime routine. So after my face is completely dry from the sheet mask, I go in with my eye cream and I use this retinol eye cream by the Inky List. So retinol eye creams encourage collagen production, blurring the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles and giving the under eye area a softer and smoother appearance. I have a few fine lines that have started to appear under my eyes from excessively rubbing my eyes when I get hay fever and I've really been trying to find a product that will improve that and I'm finding that this is starting to work already. I've been using it for about two months and the lines under my eyes are starting to blur out a little bit. So to apply the eye cream I use just a little bit of the eye cream and gently dab it into my under eyes using my finger. So the next thing that I use in my skincare routine is the caffeine solution by The Ordinary. So this is an under eye solution that helps to reduce any dark circles or puffy around the eyes as well as improving any discoloration around your eyes and giving a more even skin tone. One of my biggest skin concerns is actually the bags that I get under my eyes. They can really affect the way that I look and I end up looking really tired all the time. So I've been using this product to try and reduce the dark circles that I have under my eyes and I can definitely see that it's already starting to work. So to apply this I apply about two drops of the caffeine solution to my finger and then I gently rub this into my eye area until it is completely absorbed. So the very last step in my skincare routine is my face oil. And I use this rose hip seed oil by The Ordinary. So this face oil contains lots of vitamins, antioxidants and essential fatty acids, which are known to hydrate and promote a smooth and even complexion. Now, when I apply my face oil, I don't actually apply this directly to my skin. I like to mix it in with my CeraVe moisturizing lotion. This is because I find that it's a lot less thick and greasy and it sinks in nicer into my skin. But I do apply this directly to my skin on its own if I have a really bad day of eczema or if my skin is particularly dry on that day. So I usually use one pump of my CeraVe moisturizer and then around 10 drops of the rose hip seed oil and mix them together in my hands. And then I apply this to my face and neck before I go to sleep. So that was all of these steps in my nighttime skincare routine. And like I said before, I am making a video of me trying out this exact routine for about a month, the Korean 10 step skincare routine, which will be up on my channel very soon. And please let me know if you'd also like me to do a morning routine because it is a little bit different than my nighttime routine. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.